Raiders out. And here they come. On the right part of your screen is Im Duna from Korea and Ilya Canales from Spain. And Crystal Govan on the world on target archery one. scene. Representing the Republic we know of that Imduna not ranked. So it's great to see Imduna here. And Canales, number 32 ranked in Spain. world archery competition. Big smiles from our archers. Talk about the pressure they're under right now, under the lights in front of this huge crowd. Yeah, for the Korean, it's nothing new. They're used to pressure. Everything they do is under pressure. But for Spain, we'll see how she does. All right, tell us about uh, the distance to target face and how we're going to score this match. All right, so these archers are going to be shooting 18 meters, which is roughly 20 yards. They're shooting at a 40 centimeter triangle face target. So we see three separate targets, they put one arrow in each of those target faces. And the scoring on recurve is set scoring, which means two points for a win for the three arrow total, one point for a tie, and zero if you lose the set. First to six wins the match. First to six. And it's going to be Imduna who sets us off. There's a 20 second shot clock for each arrow. Ten. Great shot. That's also good understand that her sight is set for this lighting. Ten. And just like that, you can see that Ilya grabbed a click on her sight. And one thing with recurve that can be a little tough in this Ten. setting is seeing your string, which is important for alignment under these big lights. Ten. And they're both coming out firing. Don't seem to have any nerves whatsoever. 10, 10, 10. Perfect score. Perfect score. For Imduna. Oh, 10, 10, 10. And just like that. So perfect score. So 30 points apiece for these archers, which means they're going to split one set point each. And like you said, Crystal, first archer to six wins. But what happens if we go 5-5? Five, five? Shoot off. My favorite. <laughs> and we'll talk about that if we get to that in this indoor archery World Series final gold medal match for women's recurve. Replay, let's take a look at what you're seeing, Crystal. So it's a close-up of her plunger and the arrow. We can't see the clicker on the other side, but super clean release there. And of course, during the course of the evening, we're going to see different diameter arrows because that arrow is pretty much the smallest arrow that we see in competition. But there are arrows that are, the rules allow larger arrows, correct? Correct, yes. Both of these archers are going to be shooting what's typically deemed an outdoor arrow on um, for the compounders. But you see a lot of recurvers going to shoot these skinny arrows. And a lot of that has to do with the cycle we're in as it relates to the Olympics, I would imagine. This is a qualification year for a lot of Olymp for Olympians. Ten. Another ten. Nine. Just outside left into the nine ring. There's a groan from the crowd, <laughs> and you can see that <laughs> Leah responding. Yeah, some of these Ten. archers aren't going to be used to that. If you shoot in other countries, this is pretty typical to what you're going to experience. Nine. Another big yell, actually, from the crowd. Oh, 10, 10, 10. Perfect Another score. perfect score. For this shot, it needs to be taken. Nine. And now, 
little nine out left, so let's talk about when when is it appropriate to start grabbing clicks, right? Because it might be you, might be the site. My theory is you move it. If you're in, in a metal match, you just want to score points. You don't care if it's you, if you're struggling with something, you move that site. Well, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, set scoring system in women's recurve. Imduna is up three sets to one. So that was a great close up of her arrow going through the clicker there. What's the clicker? The clicker is that little piece you see that the arrow's tucked underneath. And that's essentially to tell the archer their draw length is consistent every time. When the clicker goes around the arrow, that's when they release. Critical because with recurve archery, the more you pull back, the more pounds you're pulling back. So if you're pulling back, at different distances, the arrow is going to land in different spots, correct? Exactly. It's not like compound where we have a solid wall that you're stuck at a set distance. Three sets to one. The Spaniard, Canales, starts us off, needing to put the pressure on with a 10. Ten. Now another click from the site, but it caught the bottom. Crystal will explain that's how that scores in a moment. Ooh, see that one went just outside. It does, Four yes. Two. So all you have to do is touch that line to get the higher scoring arrow. Otherwise, Ten. it's the lower scoring arrow. Elia. More pressure. Ten. No question about that 10. Nope, but both of those are a little low and right. There it is, 10, 10, 10, perfect score. Okay, so a 10, 10, 10 for Canales. Ten. Okay, so a 10. So right, now so we're going to have to see what a judge has to say because we have a nine asterisk on the score, which means that from our vantage point, it looks like a judge is really going to have to get up close and make the call. So either we're going to go tied at 3-3 or we're going to go to a 4-1 situation or 4-2 situation. Looks kind of out to me. Yeah. I don't think you can call that in from here. We're going to tie the situation. Or is it look at that bow hand and crystal as we look at the korean archer i mean korea is just known for a system that just is so consistent now each archer has different timing of it but the release all looks identical yeah it's just beautiful i mean it's textbook form that you see out of the koreans so we're all tied up three set points apiece the first to six wins if we go five five we're going to a shoot off but back to the line 18 meters downrange is a 40 centimeter target face. A three spot. We call it in archery. And after losing that end, it is Induna who leads us off. Ten. Not only is that a 10, that's an X. the 10 line. 10. So we've been shooting this triangle Ten. target all weekend, but typically in world archery, you would see a vertical three spot, which would be the three spots on top of one another. So this is a little bit different format than what most of the Ten. international shooters are going to be used to shooting. This is the gold medal match that we want to see, especially for the indoor archery world series finals. Oh, 10, 10, 10, perfect score. Nine. Oh, the pressure Ooh. shot there, arrow number three on target number two as M gets inches closer to the finish line so into a gold medal out here. It looks like that 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 by Imduna is going to get it. 
and Crystal. Just doing some quick research. It has been, World Archery has changed the indoor now. Everybody shoots the three spots. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Show some appreciation for Spain's very own Elia Canales. And that's all it takes in this gold medal match is just a little bit of a bobble. And there is that typical Korean release. Imduna actually shredding right now. You can see the difference in those releases, the too. For, for the Spaniard, she just kind of gives a little bit there, but not the full. All right, so now the situation is five set points to three. It's the first to six or more. So if Imduna wins this one, it would be 7-3. However, this is an opportunity for Canales to come back and tie this thing up and take it to Crystal Gobbin's favorite. But she's got to win this set because a tie here will give the win to the Korean. Nine. Ooh, and that might be the way that Induna has been shooting. Nine. Okay. As the crowd just, <laughs> the crowd is just behind <laughs> us, they're into it. Exactly what she needed. Beautiful X. Ten. Like you said, Crystal, I mean, there has to be a 10 here for any chance mm -hmm. to move forward. Nine. Oh. This for the gold medal. So nine or better. Ten. And she and gets a 10, over, and, and it's going to be a 7-3 win and a gold medal for Imduna from Korea over Elia Canales. What a great match that was. I don't think the 7-3 really reflects what a great match that was.